What's up guys, this is Sean Tan and today let's talk about ownership. The audience asked me what's the difference uh, because he's into this journey of property hunting already then there are certain high rise when he came across the question is Oh, uh, strata title has yet to be issued, so it's still under master title. What does it mean? Master title is when, because every plot of land has its own title. Okay, so please don't get confused with uh, zonings and usage. Okay, so there's agriculture title, there's a building title, there's industrial title, right? That is the usage of it. So in building, then only you have uh, commercial use and you have residential use. So that is the difference. So every plot of, let's say this is a residential piece of land, okay? Then now a uh, service apartment is to be built. So after they build, during construction, it belongs to the developer itself, which is the landowner. So the landowner will then develop it, let's say into 300 different units. These 300 different units, once completed, then the surveyor or the architect and the landowner is supposed to submit this building for issuance of strata title. Meaning right before its construction, right, developer has to already needs to tell and inform the local authorities that they will be building 300. How many types, what are the numbers of them and what are the specifications up to the it's very very precise so these are all conducted by surveyors and uh, in my audience one of the audience case where only it's master title but strata title has yet to be issued meaning it's either a se several scenarios number one it might be in transition meaning that it's yet to be determined or yet to be done because it takes a while uh, this is in accordance to the old strata act so in the new strata act now local authorities are hoping to push developers to issue strata title immediately right after when they hand over the keys to the customers the other scenario where there's no strata title it means that bad news the developer is not going to do it or they are bankrupt if you understand that school of thought where it's bad news it tells you that the Strata, the importance of strata title itself it proves you're the ownership of the particular A12-4 or A12-8 right so block A level 12 unit 8 that plot belongs to this particular owner then because without the strata title itself whenever you want to sell or you want to transact the land the, the building the banks will find it very difficult to determine who is the owner then that will affect financing and the process of transaction with this ownership as well it gives you the right to participate in management committees because every strata development now you have to have a body that manages the property and with that ownership is like a ticket or a right meaning you're an owner then you can have a say in what to do in that property development itself. So without the strata title, can you still sell the property? Yes, but you need the consent of the landowner, which is the most often the time the developer. And this again adds another hurdle to your transaction. Let's say your property, people want to buy after four years, then like, okay, people want to buy and I'm earning money. But then when in the time of asking consent from the developer, they say that, oh, we are in transition or some paperwork issue glitch don't have so it's another hurdle but with strata title you can straight away go ahead with the sale without the consent so what comes with the strata title when you come to the strata title and if you buy a service apartment or a condominium or a high-rise or any strata fight developments in fact there's this thing called the main parcel, the accessory parcel, and common properties. Main parcel meaning the unit itself. Accessory parcel most of, often the time is the car park area as well as the aircon latch sometime. Because that's why you need to really ask like, let's say this unit is 1,200 square feet, does it include the aircon latch? So 
And then what is common property, which is uh, your swimming pool, your clubhouse, which is all common for the residents itself. Because there's mixed development in Malaysia where there's retail, office and residents together sharing certain areas of the uh, property, then they have another thing called limited common properties, meaning these meeting rooms are only for uh, users or owners of the offices. Only the mall is able to access to this area of service. So that why is that important is because that will greatly affect your maintenance fees. So when people say like, oh, what's the maintenance fee of 20 cent or 25 cent per square feet? It's, that's a rough estimation only. Every time, because when the developer hands over to the management committee after three years, or, or might be JMB, which is joint management body, it's up to this body to determine what's the maintenance cost like. For example, developers might create or they developed a very fancy fountain in the gate but then if people or residents fail to pay maintenance fees they will just switch off because it's not no longer sustainable and management body is not allowed to make any profit so every month they will just collect enough fees to maintain so let's say if five percent or ten percent are not paying your maintenance fees there goes the property so pay your maintenance fees on these jmb's meetings or mc meetings uh, how loud can you be? So if I'm an owner of four units versus a un uh, versus a person who has two large units, so who has the bigger right? That is all converted or measured by this thing called share units. So you need to ask your surveyor or when you have the title, you need to ask what how's the calculation of share units. So now the the the, the difference is people are not calculating by per square feet, by they are more. Uh, ten, there's more tendency to calculate based on share units. In conclusion, master title, after they build a high rise, part of them which is strata title, and all this is all about ownership. It's to prove that you own the particular property itself. So if you have strata title, most likely the property price will always increase slightly because the ease of uh, documentation is already there. So I think, I hope that answers your question. If you really find this useful, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more property information like this. Until next time, drop an info if you really need any help. I will see you guys.